We have all the facts. We cannot be accusing him. I cannot come out and say that this is what he has done when I don't have facts and figures. I have facts and figures. Let him bring facts and figures. If we will, we will, we will summon the banks. If we subpoena the banks, they will come and tell us. We know how to get the information from the banks. And I'm telling you without fear or favor that this is how much he has exposed Bayesa State. Bayesa is owing over 150 something billion as at the moment at this moment. On that Dixon. And I can give you dates. I can give you times. Everything, everything is owing. So he has put this state in debt to the neck. And that is why he wants to stay by all means as a governor. And when you look at all the money he has received and all the loans he has procured, do not look around and see what he has done. What has Dixon done by Esa State in eight years that we can see clearly? The only thing he will say he has done is the airport. And unfortunately, the airport is not usable. It's not usable. He says that it is politics, that people are not approving the airport in Abuja because of politics. But is, you can't look too far to see that the airport is not first. Even if it's claim that everything is okay with the airport, at least you can see that the airport is not first. And there is no airport that can be approved without a fence. Because the fence is to save lives. If you don't have a fence around an airport, you know how our people keep goods, our people keep animals, domestic animals. Even our brothers in the north keep cows. They walk around with their cows. And if a plane is landing and a cow is strolling across the tarmac, how do you see it? How do you see it? A cow is struggling and your plane is just landing. You don't wish it to your worst enemy. Because the cow might even stand back and be looking at the plane and wondering what it is. Instead of running across. So that is how dangerous it is. That's why the aviation authorities do not approve airports without a fence. So if you are building an airport, at least common sense would have told you that that airport should be fenced. But if you didn't fence it, whose fault is it? And after spending 91 billion on an airport, you can't fence it? Distinguished ladies and gentlemen, let us look at it very carefully. Let us not look at it with sentiment. The airport doesn't know any corridor or non corridor. It's, a, it's an airport. So please, let us try and look at things from the right perspective. Unfortunately, all these monies have been spent and we cannot see much for it. That's what I said. And I stand by it. I would like him to sue me so that I can take all the details to the court that I know. But I can tell you that what I'm telling you is the actual position. I am not lying about it. I cannot be frivolous about these things. The state is in debt up to the neck. And if we do not get them out of office by Friday, by Saturday, something you don't know what is going to happen. I'm not the one that is going to suffer most. He is putting his own cousin there in place of him. Is that not telling you an elongation? Is it not telling you an elongation? Maybe third tenure, then you have the fourth tenure. Then all of us can go to places. Gentlemen, ladies and gentlemen, is that what you want? No. Thank you, distinguished ladies and gentlemen. This is Niger Live TV. We bring you news. There is a mass movement here today. Sports. Beautiful.
Entertainment. And the winner is... Devido! Politics. And when the commander in chief says, I don't know what happened, then we have to worry whether this our security is actually in the right hand. Thank you, my younger brother. One billion dollars is to be spent now on security. How does that affect the youth of this country? Culture.